M. Rasmodius Wizard, over here. It's Punch with the Farmer. I live to the north. Why don't you come down to the Festival of Ice? We miss you. Don't be so antisocial. Come on, you chumps. Don't you know how to catch fish? Willie, I'm disappointed in you. All right, guys. Farmer Punchwood and I have come up with a plan for the day, which happens to be Monday the 8th of winter, and we shall reveal it to you momentarily. But first, let's watch some TV. It's going to be a few inches of snow tomorrow, says the weatherman. And as far as I know, it's bright and sunny today. No snow. Perfect weather for the festival of winter, right? Uh, spirits are mildly perturbed. I don't think that's going to affect us today. And we have a new episode of Living Off the Land with Farmer Green Beans. Find any tree seeds while chopping wood? You can plant those in the ground and a new tree will grow. Get creative. Uh, you don't say. You mean seeds in the ground grow to trees. Okay, great. Uh, learn that in the second grade. Anyway, let's get on with our plan here. So part of the plan, the first part of the plan is to make these crusty baguettes, two of them. And then with those two crusty baguettes, we are going to make two survival burgers, which you need the bread, the cave carrot, and eggplant. We have all of that and more. And check that thing out. My gosh, this would make the Burger King Whopper weep in embarrassment. Look at that thing. It's huge. <laughs> all right. Anyway, so now that we have our survival burger, we're going to go outside and chop some wood. That's the first part of the day. And then we're going to go over to uh, the festival. Oh, oh, Jody. Hi. <sighs> Hi, Punchwood. <sighs> Whew. That was quite a workout walking all the way up here. Yeah, it sure is. That's why I have a horse. Anyway, I came by to ask if you wanted to have dinner with us tonight. You don't have to, but if you decide to come, could you please bring a largemouth bass with you? <laughs> That's right, one of those big slimy fish from the lake. I need one for the casserole I'm making. Okay, well, it'll be at our house around 7 p.m. tonight. Don't forget the largemouth bass. Bye. Oh, but wait, Jody. Jody, no, I can't make it tonight. There's a festival. Jody? Oh, no. How is that going to interfere with the festival? Fish casserole. Okay, this is not on a timer. We can go to Jody's at any time we um, have a bass, which, guess what? We have one. And yeah, we have some mail here. It's from, oh, it's from Abby, Punchwood's girlfriend. Hi, Punchwood. One of these days, you should come to my room after dark, maybe around 8 p.m. I want to show you something. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, ominous. <laughs> In an exciting way, of course, but uh, okay. Anyway, let's change the subject. Let's get organized here. First things first. Let me get rid of all this stuff, and then we are going to get down to the festival. Um, let's get some ores cooking up here. All right, guys. I'm back. It's now 1 p.m. in the afternoon, and we have a change in plans here. I was going to chop down some wood today and start storing wood away for the uh, the barn project, but we're out of time. We're going to get down to the, uh, the Festival of Ice before 2 p.m., and here we are. Oh, look at the sculptures! Ice sculptures, that's beautiful! Leah, did you do that? Hold on a sec, let me say hi to Elliot. Hey, Elliot! I'm entering the ice fishing competition today. Why not? Yeah, why not? I'll take you on. I'm the best fisherman in Stardew Valley. You, you'll see. It's rare that Willie ever loses, though. What'd I just say? You're not paying attention. Alright, bye. Leah, did you make that? It's beautiful! Oh, ice. A beautiful material to sculpt in, but so impermanent. Well, it looks great while well, it lasts anyway, right? But I guess that might make the art even better. Yeah, I suppose in an artsy-fartsy sort of way, but I don't get it. Anyway. Oh, whoa, Robin, nice castle. I'm sorry, but carving ice parapets requires my undivided attention. Oh, of course it does. Yeah, don't let me bother you. Bye. Uh, hi, Jody. The forest looks beautiful in the winter, doesn't it? It sure does. And by the way, I'll uh, definitely come by with that bass. We'll have some dinner, but not tonight. We're going to be here all night probably chatting. Hello, Caroline. How's winter coming along for you, Punchwood? Well, let's see. I got a girlfriend, but... Uh, uh, never mind. All right, we'll see you later. Hey, Shane, buddy. How's it going? Is this your igloo? If it was up to me, I'd probably have a pizza festival at the saloon instead. <laughs> really? You'd rather sit in the saloon than hang out here with the whole community? Okay, buddy. Well, you can do that later, maybe. Can I go in here? No. Hey, George. Hmm. <laughs> Wife dragged me out into the cool for this. Aw, oh, come on. Try to enjoy it, would you? Look, everybody's here. There's ice sculptures. We're gonna do some fishing. Hey, Evelyn. Did I ever tell you how George and I first met? He actually pelted me with a snowball at this very festival. Well, you wouldn't know it because the guy is so grumpy. He doesn't even want to be here. He was a gentleman back then and came over to see if I was okay. That's a cute story. Thanks for sharing. Bye. 
Let's go down here and see who's around. Well, let's start with Pam and work our way over. Oh, look at uh, Leah's house is all decorated for the holidays. Hey, Pam! I plan on winning the ice fishing competition. Oh, you gotta beat me, and that's gonna be very difficult. Oh, whoa, oh. Uh, did you hear what I said? I'm a master fisherman. Willie is gonna be pretty hard to beat, though. He does this kind of stuff day and night. And me, too! Uh, man, I get no respect. All right, bye, Pam. Hey, Clint! Emily started helping me without any provocation. Does that mean something? Gold. Oh, look at his face! <laughs> Easy does it, Clint. Just relax. Act natural. Be cool, okay? Hey, Emily. Wow, this snowman needs a makeover. Who made this? Yeah, it's pretty nasty, isn't it? Oh, gosh. You call that a snowman? Hi, Chas. I want to give him a carrot nose. Carrot nose is perfect. I agree. Hey, Penny. Hmm, what kind of snowman should we make? Oh, I get to choose. A classic one, carrot nose, top hat, and scarf. Something funky. Icicle, antennas, pine cone eyes. What? No. Snowmen are boring. Think outside the box. Uh, a classic one, of course. Carrot nose, top hat, scarf. I mean, what else? I guess maybe it's best to stick with the classics, huh? Of course it's best to stick with the classics and traditions. That's why they make them. Classics and traditions. Or something. Anyway. Hey, Myro. Oh, that snowman looks awesome. I'm not very creative when it comes to snowmen. What are you talking about? That's really great. I love the scarf. Nice touch. Oh, <clears throat> hi, uh, friend, Abigail. Not girlfriend, however. Right, Pierre? <laughs> this snow is so cold, I can't feel my fingers anymore. Well, why don't you run off and go warm them up somewhere? I don't know. Stick them in the water over there. It's warmer than the air. Go on. Get out of here. I'm going to talk to Abigail. Hey, Abigail. I got your letter in the mail. Yeah. I'll come over some night. Oh, shh, shh, here comes Dad. What do you think of my snow goon? Snow goon? That's the best name ever. It's beautiful. I love him. He's goonish, all right. <laughs> all right, I'll leave you with the Dad. Bye. Oh, gosh, it's Haley. One of these days, I'm going to have to date Haley, too, you know. We're going to date all of them. Abigail, Haley, Leah, and um, Penny. Penny, my gosh, I almost forgot. <laughs> hey, Alex. How was the uh, grid ball? Snowman are okay, I guess. But mostly, I'm looking forward to the spring. All right, bye. Hi, Haley. I guess winter isn't all that bad. Playing in the snow can be fun. That's the spirit? Yeah. By the way, that's a fabulous snow, man. Just wanted to say bye. All right, let's go around the pond down here and see who's down. Down by the river. It's uh, Willie and Demetrius. Hey, Willie. Hey, Pudgewood. Ready for some ice fishing? Uh, oh, no. Wait a minute. No, no, not yet. Right now? Ugh. Okay, sure, yeah, and I'm gonna beat you. We'll see. <laughs> oh, not yet though, right? Okay, good, good, because I'm not ready. I want to talk to everybody first. Hey, Demetrius. You know what? I probably should have worn a jacket. Yeah, what are you doing in short sleeves? <laughs> what the heck is wrong with you? Hey, Doc. You want me to light that fire for you? Extreme temperatures can put your body under a lot of stress, so make sure to bundle up. I've been trying. I can't find anything to bundle up with. Oh, and enjoy the festival. Yeah, thanks, Doc. <laughs> Hey, Gus. Sorry, there's no food. Yeah, what's up with that? You're not going to provide food for the festival? You cheapskate. Just wait for the Feast of the Winter Star. You'll be stuffed for days. Okay, can't wait. Can't wait for that. I don't know when that is. I guess it's in the winter. Hey, Marty. Thanks for hosting outside your house. I feel bad for all the poor cold animals out there. Oh, would you stop? Go talk to the people. The animals are fine. This is what they live for. They know how to handle winter better than humans. Er. All right, anyway, let's go over here and chat with uh, old Sam. Hey, Punchwood, are you going to enter the ice fishing competition? Of course I am. You too? Oh, not me. I don't know how to fish. Oh, come on. It's easy. Just throw a line in the water, man. Have some fun. Hey, Sebastian. Nah, I never get cold. You never get cold, huh? All right, you wear the same thing every day. What's wrong with you, kid? Change your... Uh, never mind. Hey, Vin Dog. I saw a big fish down there. Really? Which one? This one right here? Okay, cool. Because uh, I'm going to be in the competition and I need all the fish I can get to win. Thanks for the tip off. And Major, Ma Major, Mayor Lewis. Welcome to the Festival of Ice. <laughs> I've been here for like an hour, dude. What have you been up to? The highlight of today's festival is the ice fishing competition. We set up this frozen lake and stock it full of fish. Just let me know when you're ready to compete. Oh, I talked to you. I thought I had to talk to Willie. Willie's really excited. Okay, um... 
I think I've spoken to everyone. Let me just do one more go around. All right, we gotta find Linus. I bet he's hiding somewhere. He's not very social. Oh, there's the wizard. Oh, I forgot about the wizard. Right. M. Rasmodius. Oh, here's Linus. <laughs> Hanging out with the wizard. Oh, can I even get to the wizard? Ooh. Hey, Linus, how you doing? Why are you blocking the wizard? Igloo buildings and art I picked up from the tundra dwellers who live beyond the frozen sea. Oh, man, you're really a man of the world, aren't you? You've been around. I'd love to come up to your fireplace and you can tell me some stories sometime, huh? That was many years ago. Oh, you mean you forgot? Well, I'll still come by and you can tell me more stories, okay? Whatever you remember. An igloo makes a nice home, but it's easier just stay in my tent year-round. That's a nice tent indeed. Now, can I get by and see the wizard? He does not want to talk to anyone. M. Rasmodius Wizard! Over here! It's Punch with the Farmer! I live to the north! Why don't you come down to the Festival of Ice? We miss you! Don't be so antisocial! Okay, suit yourself! Bye! I guess he doesn't want to come join the festival. Yep, looks like I talked to everybody, so let's get this fishing doyby on the road here. Are you ready to participate in the ice fishing competition? Yes! Oh, here we go, here we go. Everybody's at their stations. All right, everyone, let's begin this year's ice fishing competition. Yes, let's go! Oh, Louie, are you doing this too? Contestants, your goal is to catch as many fish as you possibly can in two minutes using the provided fishing rods. You must catch your fish here, from these holes in the ice. Oh, wait, I can't use my iridium fishing pole? Well, is everyone ready? Aw, and I brought my, my, my iridium rod. Begin! All right, let's go. Do I have a fishing pole? Oh, <laughs> I threw it right over the side. Oh, this is going to be tricky. Oh, I got one. Oh, it's seaweed. Oh, everybody's watching. There's so much pressure. So much pressure. Oh, here we go. We got one. We got one. I got one, everybody. I got one. Come on. Clap. Cheer. Do something. It's perfect. Perfect catch. <laughs> There's one. Oh, gosh darn it. Why do they make these little holes so small? Oh, there's a timer up there. Okay, I'm trying to watch that. Oh, no. Wait, the seaweed count? <laughs> Oh no, Pam just caught one. Oh no, Willie. Oh, come on with the seaweed. All right, look at look at Elliot down there. He's caught anything. All right, here we go. And these fish are all frozen solid. Very easy to catch. They probably came out of Pierre's store. That's two. That's two for me. Number three coming up. Number three, you losers. Oh, Elliot just caught his first fish. <laughs> you got to do better than that, guys. Number four coming up. Come on, you chumps. Don't you know how to catch fish? Willie, I'm disappointed in you. Pam's gonna beat you. She's good too. That's fifth and perfect. It's a beaut. 25 seconds. Got another hit. Oh man, this rod's better than my iridium. I'm just gonna, you know what? I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave the festival with it in my pocket. <laughs> I'm taking this one home. No one will know, right? Here comes another one, guys. No competition. No competition! Whew! Alright, let's see the fish, guys. Oh, come on, Ellie. You didn't catch that many. There's no way. Wow, that's a lot of fish. <laughs> okay, Matthew Broderick. <laughs> Ugh, the smell. What, you don't like fish? Now, for the winner of this year's ice fishing competition. Here we go, here we go. Punchwood with seven big slimy fish. Yeah, I knew it! Alright, what do I get? Here's your prize. Enjoy. Oh, a sailor's cap. It's fresh and starchy. <laughs> a dress spinner, a barbed hook, and a magnet. All right, let's check these out. We already know what a dress spinner is. That increases the bite rate. The barbed hook makes your catch more secure, causing the fishing bar to cling to your catch. Works best on slow, weak fish. Oh, well, whatever. We don't really catch... We don't care about slow, weak fish. We just want the hard ones. And a magnet, which is bait. Increases the chance at fi of finding treasures when fishing. However, fish aren't crazy about it. Oh, so we can get more treasures this way, but probably fewer catches. All right, but I love that sailor's cap. I want to put it on right now and show off for the rest of the festival. Well, that's it for this year's Festival of Ice. Thanks for coming, everyone. Now let's release these poor fish. Oh, wait. No, I can turn them into sashimi and give them away for gifts. Or I can sell them to make money. I think... Really? Let's throw them back? I can't believe I won! Well, time to head home. <laughs> I have a script now. It's 10 p.m. Wow, what a day! I'm pooped! Now let's put on this fishing net. First things first. Oh. My gosh. I am now a true fisherman. Or sailor, anyway. 
Okay, <laughs> that's great. Add that to my hat collection. <laughs> oh, look at all the goodies that are up. Right, you know what? We have time to grab all this stuff and sell it. Because we need to make some money because we're going to buy that barn. Am I full? No. Come on, just pick it up. Here we go. And grab the oil. And let's go chuck it in here and sell it all. So we have mayonnaise, golden star belly, regula. Um, I'll sell that oil. I have plenty. Oh, crystal fruit jelly, guys. This is the super, super expensive stuff. Ooh. Um, I'm pretty sure I get the same price if I dump it in the bin as opposed to selling it directly to Pierre. But I, I kind of want to bring one into town to Pierre. So we'll throw one in the bin and see what it's worth sold this way. I don't think there's a difference, like I said, but uh, just in case. All right, now I think, well, i just go check this stuff away, and now it's time for bed. And let's see how we did for the day. Oh, Wilson, I'm back from the festival. I won the fishing tournament. Look at this hat. Isn't it amazing? Ooh, sorry. I didn't mean to kick you over there. All right, let's go. Get in bed, and I'm sleeping with my new hat on. And let's see what we got here. Here endeth the 8th of winter, year 1th. 2,000 gold from farming. Hold on a sec. Crystal fruit. 350 for the crystal fruit jelly. That's pretty good for jelly because normally I get about 150. So, I mean, it's not out of this world, but it's still pretty darn good. 557 for fish. 200 for two oil. Oh, we got 100 piece for each oil? Well, that's not bad. And 2847 for the day. Not too shabby. And with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.